ECDL Advanced Section 2 Text Editing Driving Lesson 11 Text Flow and Wrap. This is the Maneuvers section. Within this video we're going to look at various layout techniques. The one that's in line with text, wrapping text on one or both sides of an image, wrapping text tight to an image, placing text behind an image, and wrapping text around not just images but tables and charts. The first thing we've been asked to do is to open the wrapping document and what we're going to do is to show the concept of uh, being in line with text. What we're going to do is to move down to the top image on page 2. This is a clip art image. It's got its own fixed space in the text. So in this particular case it's its own paragraph and the layout is in line with text. This is the default layout when inserting images. If we right click on the image and select text wrap we can see a list of options. What we're going to do though is to go for the more layout options and as we do we'll see that the square that's actually selected is the one that says in line with text. So that is how we know that this particular image is in line with text. Now what the next thing I want to do is to have a look at how do we handle floating text. So if we click on the square option within the window that's open and from the wrap text section select left only and then press OK what we'll now find is the image is now floating text wrapped on the left. You'll also see that on the top right of the image there's a button if you press this, this is the layout options button which will give you the opportunity to help change layouts quickly. Okay let's move this image. Now as we move it bear in mind what or see what's happening to the words that are around the image. I'm going to drag the image to the right okay and as I get to the end of the paragraph it's actually showing the green line so it helps me align the image correctly and I'm going to move this to the top of the first paragraph Okay, there we go, and the text is automatically formatted around it. Next, let's look at wrapping text on both sides of an image. We're going to move further down the page and we see the picture of the tower. Select wrap text, so that's right click and then wrap text as before. Go for the square option and what we'll see now is the text is wrapped on both sides of the picture. If we wish to wrap text to the right of an image, let's drag the picture to the left margin. It's lined up correctly. And we'll see now the text wraps to the right of the picture. Next, let's look at wrapping text tight to an image. Moving further down the page, to the next page in fact, and we get to the pet's corner section. What we want to do now is to select wrap text and then tight. Wrap text and then tight. And as you'll see the text is now wrapped more tightly to the shape of the picture. If we now drag the picture so it is at the top left hand corner of the pets paragraph. Get it beautifully lined up. There we go, all done. The next concept is text behind image. For this we're going to work with the smiley face. So right click on the smiley face which is below the gift shop text. Let me get that straight for you. Okay. Right click on the smiley face and this time we're going to, for the wrap text, behind text. Now, as we can see, the image is behind the text itself. Let's now move that so it's behind the gift shop section. That should do nicely. OK. OK, the only things we've not mentioned are wrapping text around other objects such as tables and charts. 
if we move further down and get to the tea room, the, tab the table for the tea room, now select the table and within the table tools if we look at the layout button click properties and with the tables tab in the dialog box displayed select an alignment of right and text wrapping of around now press OK and we can now see that the table has the words correctly wrapped around Next, let's select the visitors numbers chart on the last page. So further down the document, here's the chart. Click on the chart border, that way we're going to make sure we're not selecting any individual component instead. Okay, I've selected the whole lot. On the format tab, select position and then we want square top right with square text wrapping that's this one here okay that's now sorted and what we'd want to do now is to drag the chart down until it lines with the top of the paragraph text so just moving it down green lines in place that's perfect okay final one let's look at the organization chart Click on a blank area of the, the organization chart and from the format tab take the arrange group and within there you'll find position. Select position in middle left with square text wrapping. Middle left with square text wrapping, that's that one click away and it's done. Okay, I hope that's been of some use helping you with this particular topic of text flow and wrap. Look forward to seeing you next time.